Hey there, Internet. So I wanted to give a quick update on the electronic lead screw project. I've been doing quite a lot of work on the web interface and I'm using React and WebSockets, which has turned out to be pretty, pretty handy and it's working pretty well. I haven't noticed any performance issues. It has added a decent amount of complexity. All the React that I thought I knew has kind of been reinvented and, and, and while I really like the fact that they're embracing a functional approach to uh, JavaScript, uh, I did have to relearn a whole bunch of stuff. But it is what it is. It's working pretty good. The performance is decent. Uh, you can actually have multiple clients connected and uh, the settings will propagate automatically to everything. So th there's a lot of nice things happening and it's turning out pretty decent. Most of my work has been sent, spent on uh, just getting the configuration working, getting the configurations to propagate back and forth and synchronize, as, as well as, um, as changing the different modes. For, for a quick demo, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jog around using the interface a little bit. Uh, I have to set the mode to debug mode, which it looks like it already did. You can see, um, if I can get the thing to focus, the... Uh, the camera does not like to focus on the screen. But up here you have a little DRO value and I have a, a field here I can set the jog distance and so if I click do jog you'll see it jog. Now the reason that the um, uh, it's, it's three tenths of a millimeter off is the backlash in the lead screw. So if I go and do another one it should go to the same place. So that's a one millimeter jog. If I want to go back the other direction, I just do minus one. And again, we'll get the initial backlash, but we end up right back on zero. And you can see that the, uh, well, hopefully you can see it. The thing is focused. The uh, DRO will update as it's jogging. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. So that DRO is synchronized. As long as you keep the uh, half nuts engaged, that DRO will be synchronized. Uh, I can also uh, adjust the pitch. Uh, I've got a, a multiplier value that will um, change how quickly the, uh, the, 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 the non-slave jog works. So if I, this should go a little bit faster than before. And we can make that 10. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I exceeded the travel. My dial indicator. Anyway, so that works well. Um, again, right now the emergency stop is disengaging the lead screw. Uh, eventually what I think I'm going to have it do is the lever that I'm going to use with the haptic input. When you click jog or you use you tell it to jog, it'll move over into a kind of engaged position. If you want to quickly cancel the jog, you'll just move it back to the neutral position and that'll that'll clear the jog out. Uh, I can also change the pitch, but right now it's not slaved to the spindle and the spindle's not running. Um, so it's all working good. Uh, I can jog around. I can track my position on the DRO. Uh, the next step is going to be uh, jogging a certain distance with a certain pitch per revolution uh, with, the, um, with its slave to the spindle encoder. And once I have that working, then I'm going to uh, create virtual stops so that you can, in a non-slaved mode, you can jog to a position and set a stop and then jog to the other side, set a stop, and then you, you can turn the spindle on and you can say jog to the stop and then jog back from the stop. So that's the plan. Uh, things are going pretty well. Uh, if you have any comments, if you have any questions about the implementation, let me know. I'm going to leave a link to the GitHub repository down in the uh, description. And uh, thanks for watching.